Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today's MTG box analysis will focus on the opening of a Lost Caverns of Ixalan collector booster box that took place on November 20th, 2023. As this is our first collector booster box, I thought it might be a good idea to review how much of the set that we can obtain from a collector booster pack. In total, there are 407 cards in the Lost Caverns of Ixalan set. 301 are standard frame, 27 are showcase, 34 are borderless, 40 are extended art, and 5 are neon ink. In collector boosters, you can see 101 of the 407 cards in non-foil and 397 of the cards in foil. This is because collector boosters will not contain any standard frame cards from the main set in non-foil. Collector booster packs can also obtain cards from three different subsets. From the Commander subset, you can see cards numbered 17 through 68 in non-foil and 37 of those cards in foil. You're also eligible to see all 26 cards from the Jurassic World collection in Collector Boosters, including 19 emblem cards which are found in less than 1% of Collector Booster packs. And while Collector Boosters aren't the only place to find the 18 cards from the Special Guest subset, they are the only place you have a chance to pull one of the 6 Neon Ink Mana Crypts. Now that we have an understanding of the main set and subsets, let's see what this box contained. We saw 108 of the 291 cards in standard frame foil for 37% coverage of the set. We also saw 4 showcase cards in non-foil and 11 in foil. We saw 8 non-foil borderless and 7 foil borderless, and finally 12 non-foil extended art cards and 5 in foil. From the Commander subset, we saw 13 cards, including our box topper. We also picked up one Jurassic World card in each pack for a total of 12 cards. And today's box contained one foil special guest. Before getting into the value of today's Collector Booster box, let's take a look at the current value of the main set. This chart displays all 402 cards from the Lost Caverns of Ixalan set using non-foil market prices as of November 19th, 2023. Currently, the set features 13 cards valued over $10. The top four cards are going to be the O'Hare Tack Deepest Foundation, which has a non-foil market value of $21.45 for Showcase and $23.93 for Standard Frame. And the top two spots go to the Cavern of Souls, which is going for $26.84 in Standard Frame and $29.05 in Borderless. The set also contains 10 cards valued between $5 and $10, and 60 cards valued between $1 and $5. The other 319 cards are currently valued under a dollar. In addition to these 402 cards, there are also 6 Neon Ink versions of Cavern of Souls, which are all going for more than $100 a piece. The rarest is the three color that appears on the left side of your screen, and the rarity cascades from left to right, with the yellow Neon Ink being a WPN Premium Store promo card and not available in Collector Booster Packs. Now let's recap the actual observed value that we saw in today's box for the main set. We ended up seeing four cards valued over $10, including the Foil Borderless Gashoth Sun's Avatar valued at $10.38, Galta Stampede Tyrant in Borderless valued at $19.43, as well as the Non-Foil and Foil Showcase O'Hare Tack Deepest Foundation valued at $21.45 and $30.81 respectively. We also saw three cards in the $5 to $10 range, and we picked up 20 cards valued between $1 and $5. The remaining 128 cards from the main set that we saw are currently valued less than $1. Now let's review the value of the Commander subset. Currently there are no cards valued over $10 in this subset, and only 4 cards valued between $5 and $10, with the Charismatic Conqueror being the most valuable at $7.69 in non-foil. The majority of the cards that you can pull are presently valued in the $1 to $5 range, and there are 5 cards valued under a buck. In today's box, we saw one of the four cards valued over $5, which was the Eye of O'Hare Tack in foil valued at $6.93. We also picked up nine cards in the $1 to $5 range and two cards valued under a dollar. The Jurassic World collection currently features 23 cards valued over $10, with 19 of these being the extremely rare emblem cards, some of which are going for more than $500 a piece. In addition to these lottery cards, there are four cards valued over $10, with the most valuable being the Hunting Velociraptor, currently valued at $35.77 in non-foil. The subset also features seven cards valued between $5 and $10, and 12 cards valued over a dollar. Currently, only three cards in the subset are valued less than a buck, but I expect many more to fall below the dollar range as more and more of this product is opened. 
In today's box, we saw one card valued over $10 from the Jurassic World collection, which was Owen Grady Raptor Trainer, which has a current market value of $14.07 in foil. We also picked up two cards in the $5 to $10 range and six cards valued between $1 and $5. The other three cards were valued less than a dollar each. The special guest subset is another place where you're likely to find value if you can get lucky. The subset features seven different variants of Mana Crypt, currently valued over $100 a piece. The subset also features five cards valued over $10, five cards in the $1 to $5 range, and seven cards valued over a dollar. In today's box, we only saw one special guest, which was Lord Windgrace, currently valued at $16.69 in foil. So how did this box perform? Well, the market price for this box as of November 19th, 2023 is $223.36. The Lost Caverns of Ixalan Collector Booster Box that we opened contained 12 packs, each with 15 cards, allowing us to see 180 cards plus tokens. The 155 cards that we saw from the main set have a market value of $197.29. The 13 cards from the Commander subset have a market value of $31.62. The 12 Jurassic World cards that we saw are valued at $42.60, and our one special guest was valued at $16.69. Add it all up, and the grand total for this box comes up to be $288.20 in card market value, which is a gain of $64.84 over the market price for the box, and means that it returned 129% of the market price in card value. Now, for those of you interested in cards valued just over $2, the numbers look like this. In total, we saw 31 cards valued over two bucks in this box, and they have a current combined value of $212 even. This means that those 31 cards represent 74% of the total box value and 95% of the market price. The collector boosters are jam-packed with all kinds of lottery cards, with two sets of neon inks and the Jurassic Emblem cards. But as this box demonstrated, not all packs will contain extreme value. Be sure to subscribe to the channel as I'll be cracking open more Lost Cameras of Ixalan over the coming days and weeks. Until next time, do something amazing. Get early access to videos, download the analysis for every box open on the channel, and personally DM me, just like these fine people. All by becoming a member of the channel through YouTube or over at mtgboxanalysis.com. You'll find links in the description. Until next time, do something amazing.